for Golden Skate and I'm so happy to be here today with Yuka and Juho from Finland. I stand just from Finland. Hello everyone. Hello. <laughs> so you are just getting into the season. You are now uh, going to have your second competition at Finlandia Trophy. How does it feel to be back again? <laughs> uh, always it's a nice feeling to yeah. be back in the season and compete again. Uh, Finlandia Trophy is always a great competition. <laughs> like it's every season, you are never disappointed. Yeah. Like it's all you know before the competition, you know that the crowd and the support is going to be amazing. So it's very very nice feeling to and start the season here, even though we did already one competition, but yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Excited. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> um, so how many times did you do Finlandia already? I think this, this is our fourth, fourth time. Fourth. We yeah. actually counted. Yeah, we hour. actually, yeah, yeah. Someone <laughs> asked the same question <laughs> and uh, yeah. yeah. So you two have a very uh, exciting season ahead because maybe this time you can uh, compete at European and World Championships. World Championships will be the first time for you. How do you feel about these opportunities and the upcoming season in general? Well, I mean, for me, to be honest, uh, my like, uh, I really don't think about the championships now because yeah. just to... It's still a long way to it's go. It's still a long way to go and uh, we know it's gonna be a long season so we're just trying to be focused. Mm -hmm. On the first each, competition. Each yeah. competition yeah. and uh, I mean no big pressure, nothing's more special. Yeah. It's just to, same as always, of course it's yeah. very nice feeling to be And of course it, the, the preparation for this season was like we wanted to work, I mean we yeah. always work hard but like yeah. I feel like this season we worked extremely hard because we knew that we are going to have this beautiful opportunity to participate at the championship. So it gave like extra boost. And finally, we can show our couple at the big arenas. Amazing. Uh, so you said you work extra hard. What exactly did you work extra hard on? Anything technically, the programs, or yeah, anything you specifically want to improve this season? Uh, well, just like. Uh, like focusing a lot on the details because everybody knows that we have lots of energy but sometimes we are not completely in unison and uh, so that kind of stuff we really want to show that we have improved and work on that so I think that kind of stuff we really like paid extra attention so you two teamed up in 2019, if I'm rightly informed. Um, and I also read that you were introduced uh, by your coaches back then. What do you think make the two of you such a good match as you're now skating together for four years? <laughs> <laughs> your turn. Um, I mean, we, we kind of like match our skating already in the tryout. I remember mm -hmm. the tryout was yeah. very like smooth mm. from the beginning it from the she really came well. in yeah. you know, yeah. spring 2019 she came to finland for one week yeah i remember like uh you you don't remember probably but mauri said but i remember yeah. when mauricio my coach our coach yeah. told me that after five minutes of skating that okay that's it <laughs> that's it <laughs> we found the partner if she is ready to yeah. move here and uh yeah, but yeah, yeah. Well, so that as a coach he could see from the very first steps that it's a good it, match it's, it's a good match yeah but also we worked hard for this four years together of course yeah. um it's it's an effort a lot of effort yeah and i think we don't like uh like i know that there are couples who spend a lot of time on fighting and that kind of stuff that's really not about us no like we we are pretty like uh, working, equal, pretty well. uh, working pretty well. Of course, we also have our difficult moments sometimes, but in general, I would say that we always like work in the same direction and try to find the compromise. So we're, I think we're really good at finding compromise, compromise each other. Yeah, like yeah. very often I ask Yuka that, what would you like me to do to feel better, and the opposite, mm -hmm. the other way around. So that's mm -hmm. I think. One of our best qualities. We never, we never put our opinion to against each it, other. Yeah. No, no. 
So what did you do? You uh, yeah, compromises. I think is very very important and like base of communication, especially when you work like so closely together. What do you value about the other person? Like maybe also on a personal level. Like what do you like about each other? Because <laughs> <laughs> it looks like. <laughs> uh, I it's really fun to skate with you, Hope. Yeah, that's one of the. He's best. a funny guy. He's a funny oh, wow. guy and always um, atmosphere is yeah. nice. That's I what think I really it's like. It's an important about. thing in yeah. the training process yeah. to have a nice atmosphere. So I think, especially for us, atmosphere is really important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the vibes giving each other. So. Yeah, I think that's the, <laughs> <laughs> the main thing. And yeah. well, well, Yuka has a great personality, and I think she's very, very unique. Like there are not many girls like Yuka in the in the skating world. Uh, so that's the first thing that we have to appreciate. And then, of course, the effort that she puts to the skating. That she's she moved to another side of the planet to skate with me, yeah. which is not <laughs> not everybody can do that. And she did it. She did it in a young age. Mm -hmm. Like you were what, 19 when you when moved I here? When I came to Finland, I was 19. So yeah. not everybody can handle that. So the determination and uh, like she's a tough girl. <laughs> like she can make it. <laughs> she can make it happen. <laughs> um, so you are known to have very creative and innovative programs. And I think also like everyone remembers that amazing free dance from last year with the siren. Um, you told me last week already it was kind of hard to get out and come up uh, with something as innovative for this season. So let's talk a bit about the programs. Um, yeah, let's go chronologically. Let's start with the rhythm dance. You have three Madonna songs. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how did you come up with that? Uh, um, whose idea was it? And yeah, just a bit about it. Um. We were looking for music for a long, long time. First, we wanted to skate with Diana Ross. Mm -hmm. We had the idea of Diana yeah, Ross. I'm coming out. Yes. That one, yeah. And we really like, we really like the music, and uh, uh, we're like, we're gonna skate to this. But then our coach, who's uh, lived in the eighties, it's their yeah. their time. Music. I mean, yeah. it's their music. And he, he said, said it's two seventies because it was published in nineteen eighty, I think. Yeah. So he said that there is still, for him, too much the seventies uh, vibe. Vibe. Yeah. Vibe, yeah. yeah. So too disco. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I mean. Hmm. And we were we had the idea of journey. We had the idea of a lot of things. Mm -hmm. um, but we were pretty sure that no rock. No. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, it would be a nice experience, but maybe it's. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Not I, I'm sure we could experiment. Yeah. yeah. So then we decided to. I mean, Madonna is always Madonna, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it always works. Yeah. And uh, I think yeah. that with the personality of Yuka, yeah. it, it's a match. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to go like a '80s disco mm -hmm. kind of vibe. So. And that was the Madonna. That was the Madonna. Madonna. I really like the like a prayer. Mm -hmm. She, I remember you suggested the like a virgin, like a virgin mm -hmm. as well. So we were thinking between those two. Mm -hmm. See? Compromise. A compromise, yeah. <laughs> but then she really wanted to uh, express yes. yourself, yes. and I had no nothing to say about it. Yes. I was like, okay, it's yeah. gonna be, it's gonna be the <laughs> end. But this is samba. <laughs> this is samba at the end of the program. But then I said, okay, but I want like prayer. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah, compromise. Compromise. <laughs> and then we just needed the kind of slow part mm -hmm. yeah. in the middle. Mm -hmm. And Madonna doesn't have actually that many like slow Tunes, musics, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. from eighties. So. But it, it works very well with that yeah. in that combination. So I'm proud of our cut. Of uh, the oh, music. that that's Yuka. Yuka you is a music really editor. You stream everything yeah. together. You know, yeah. like prayer, love song, yeah. so it, it just it makes sense. Like I love it when the music makes sense. Yeah, it feels like mm. order and edit. So. Yeah. Um, and you also have like a very uh, special costume. You told last week mm. that your mom is the costume maker. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, a bit about that. Do you come up with that? Was it your mom's idea or? No, it was not my mom's idea. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> because I was already thinking last week that's a very innovative mom. <laughs> uh, 
Um, well, it's kind of everybody's idea. Yeah. If we're gonna do Madonna. We needed to go. We knew we needed to go a little bit over the top. Right? Yeah. Because <laughs> Madonna was always over mm-hmm. the top in the eighties. So yeah. She shocked the world. Yeah. yeah. So we're like, okay, let's start with the costume. <laughs> Body suit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, we just we were talking about this, and it's always like bodysuit. That was the yeah. That was Madonna. clear from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, clear from the beginning. And I asked my mom. Um, she's really an artistic person, and mm-hmm. she really likes some beautiful stuff. So she really um, worried about me wearing the bodysuit, and you know nothing. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm like, mom, I need to do Madonna. Like, I would I have need, to be Madonna. Yes, I have to be Madonna. I have to be. You have, have to go for it. Yeah, go for it. So. Can you please make your body suit? And she and she didn't send me any picture. Yeah. Before. So before. she just came up with it and was like, here's yeah, your body yes. suit. She's like, here's your body suit. And it was I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. And I love your host costume too. Yeah. yeah it's yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Very Madonna, for sure. And the first idea we wanted to do a bit those like uh, Madonna had the rock, rocket, boobs. R- rocket boobs, but then her mom was like, no. "Oh my god!" She's like, like, "I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do it." Yeah. But there is a bit the shape of yeah, like. there is. I so. asked her like to um, uh, how do you say more exaggerate the boobs mm-hmm. around the area, the costume, <laughs> and uh, she really made it like come true. So. Mm. Thank you, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, very cool, mom. You got there. Uh, I think also the Chicago program. It's your free dance. You also managed to make something special, and uh, you also have a very special approach to this program. Maybe right. uh, explain this again to us. Mm, well, Chicago was again Yuka's idea. I yeah. feel like she <laughs> she decided this year a lot. I mean, uh, if the mermaid was more like my idea yeah. this year. Yeah. Uh, Yuka was yeah. like really like but looking for the music. We had totally different idea before Chicago. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We, yeah, yeah. we wanted to do more lyrical. Mm-hmm. Um, we had so many ideas before Chicago. We were a bit, even a bit lost. We were so. We lost. were lost because we knew that the mermaid is very like uh, unique and people people really liked it. We didn't hear during the last season. We didn't hear negative comments about the free dance. Everybody loved it. So we, not that we like. There was a little pressure, I have to mm-hmm. say, to not go down too much. And we were. That's why we were struggling a bit. Like, mm, how can we impress? Yeah, yeah. That was the. That was the, the pro- problem, if you can mm-hmm. call it as a problem. So yeah. then. Uh, Actually, everything started uh, in a dance class because we have a dance teacher here in Finland and we did a piece of choreography to the cell block tango and we loved it on the floor. Oh my gosh. And that's, I think, where Yuka realized that when she saw me dancing it yes, I and we did it a bit in the same way that not so like masculine or, or super feminine. It was it like was a more like commercial, commercial style. style. Yeah. And I'm like, and then she started to think like, I can use this. <laughs> yeah, I can and, use this. And the very first idea was to use cell block tango. Mm-hmm. And for a for for a month, we were like, okay, we do cell block tango, and then we built the program around cell block tango. But oh my gosh, it was hard. <laughs> like cell block tango is so different from the other songs from Chicago. Chicago yeah. So then we just had to abandon at the yeah, end of it, the day. It didn't. And there's so many, um, they're talking a lot and uh, they're talking some intense stuff. Yeah, and like so murder, people, violence. Yeah, so yeah. many people were worried about it and it just, we couldn't find music that matches with that cell block tango. Mm-hmm. And we really, 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 really wanted to skate on it, but then we then gave we up. Gave up. <laughs> gave up and then again Yuka made a beautiful music first cut, music yeah. cut. I mean <laughs> then we work also with uh, Rob with mm-hmm. the skating music yeah. guy who uh, does all the professional stuff mm-hmm. but Yuka made the rough cut and um, again makes sense the whole the whole yeah. music and it's nice. A uh, little bit different. A little bit different than, we, than what we first thought. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's more about, I would say, this freedom is more about the style. Yeah. Uh, so, because you asked yeah. about the approach yes. uh, yeah. to the program. Really. So, like I like we told you last week, there yeah. is not that clearly the 
the guy and the lady. Yeah. So it's more like an equal the equal way of moving. Yes. So that's the thing in the program. Yeah. We're like doing a show business together. Mm -hmm. right. Not like a like, yeah. follow and lead. Yeah. We, we, we show together. Right. And uh, you, you Ho, you have also the, the makeup and be oh like very, God. very, very styled. You said Yuka does that. <laughs> she that? did it. And actually, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So first of all, my hair is super slick. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> and the makeup is very cabaret style. Yeah, it is. But I have to say that because I have very, very sensitive skin. Yeah. And I'm, of course, I never wear makeup. <laughs> so after Bratislava, yeah, yeah. My, my skin, my face got so irritated. It got like yeah. kind of inflammated. Also, oh, I see. for like, I didn't even sleep for like few nights, like okay. few days. I was really because I just wanted to take my the skin on my face out. <laughs> like it felt so, it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was bad in yeah, the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, so you're you're going to not do it again? Or maybe I, no foundation. I was thinking I don't know. trying ask, around ask her, this product. Ask her. Yeah, <laughs> just. Maybe only the eyes. But it's so much in the style, so I understand yeah. that we have to do something. I just cannot go like this and... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we have to do something it, too. Maybe just yeah. go run through and uh, take it off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, like right now. But it looked fantastic, I oh, think. And I really think you can feel this that uh, with the equality and yeah. it's like also really modern and in the time. Right, so. right, right, yeah. yeah. First I was, of course, like... I was a bit like, oh, well, let's see. Like, I wasn't right away like, okay, yeah. let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. She had to kind of like, um, how to convince say? You. Kind of Convi convince Yeah, him. kind yeah. of convince me that you, you can do it. It's going to be great. So... I was so sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, Yoho will be so good in this program. <laughs> so you just said about this uh, season, you're approaching it like uh, bit by bit. You're building up to the big championships. About your whole career, what is your dream? What, where do you still want to go? Is there anything mm -hmm. you have in mind? <laughs> well, of course, uh, uh, the championships are like a big yeah. dream. And uh, like we have been thinking that top 10 is like, yeah. like at the worst, like very, very realistic for yes. us and even yes. higher than that. Yeah. There is really no limit, I feel like, where mm -hmm. we can go. Like, I feel like, like you said, that we are well matched. Yeah. And if we work hard, we can, I think, really go high. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you also already mentioned that, you, Yuka, of course, you have Japanese origin. You are from Japan. Um, I think your whole family still, does your family still yes. live there? Yeah. Um, so how was it for you to leave your home country at such a young age? Uh, to be honest, first time I got homesick was yeah. when I moved to Finland. Yeah. Uh, when I I left Japan around 16 years old, 17 years yeah. old. At the time, I just wanted to see the other country, other culture. I didn't really want to stay in Japan that much. And to be honest, I. I just left. <laughs> I yeah. just left. Um, I told you she's a brave one. Yeah. A brave girl. Yeah, but it, for me, it was not the big deal yeah. when I left Japan or even when I came, because I was in Vancouver before when yeah. I came to Finland. And uh, coming from Vancouver to Finland, for yeah. me, it was not a big decision at all, to be yeah. honest. Right. And I remember <laughs> I was super surprised, like, how can someone, because we did the tryout, and then two days later, she texted me, okay, I'm moving. And I was like, wait, wait a second, uh, like yeah. what? <laughs> of course, I really like Vancouver, I really like yeah. the coaches and I'm still missing them a lot, but... It felt right and it, you just it go just, for it. Yeah. I just decided, I, I didn't even think deep that much, I'm like... Let's give it a try. Yeah, I mean, it's... I'm not home, I'm not home anyways, like, you know. You're like home. So, uh, from yeah. this country, the other country was not a big decision for me. And uh, yeah, when I came to Finland, that was my first time I got homesick. But yeah. now it's it's like home to me, Finland. Like whenever I do competition and go to other country yeah. or like go to other country for the camp, I'm like I want to go back to Finland now. <laughs> <laughs> like the, you're Japanese, you're Finnish, your coach is Italian. Yeah. <laughs> so I have I been think thinking you're about very it. International. Yeah, very very international. <laughs> we have and a we... French cup. We have. Yeah, yeah. Couple, French couple. Uh, yeah. And we have 
yeah, we are very international, yeah, but very yeah. International. Yeah. But yeah, sometimes the working together, like uh, also because like Finnish culture is totally different than Italian culture, yeah. or Italian mm -hmm. culture culture is different than Japanese, mm -hmm. and it's it's a uh, we have to find a way. Yeah, <laughs> but I think you can maybe also benefit from that because exactly. all the, all the influences yeah, yeah, yeah. in your skating. Yeah, um, I saw that. Yeah, of course, uh, you still have the connection to Japan, mm -hmm. and you also sh uh, skated in a show in Japan. Right. Yeah. Ice explosion. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> How was that experience? Because uh, of course, skating is so big in Japan, right? <laughs> it was special. It was for us. very, very, yeah. very, very special. special. Yeah. It was great time. When, mm. Like I think we both felt uh, very proud of ourselves, but mm. it was, like it was such a great honor yeah. to skate in Japan in the show. And we not many. Um, couple like us yeah. get to go to Japan, you know, like uh, usually, are... usually like world top couple yeah, yeah. Like invited. Yeah, and I feel so privileged. Privileged, I feel to to be there, and I'm just grateful for it. Yeah. It was really such a experience. special yeah. experience. I really hope it can happen again and happen yeah. again to us and uh, fingers crossed <laughs> fingers crossed <laughs> we really want to go back but it was very special time was, very very special was. time i can't imagine uh, so yeah as i just said skating is so big in japan how is your connection maybe also with the skating world in japan are you like do you know some of the skaters do you I, are you connected to them somehow i basically was in the same level as you know, like Kaori Sakamoto, like we were in the same age. And yeah. when I was young, I used to compete with them a lot and mm -hmm. in, the, in the same level. So, and uh, when we went for the NHK trophy, there's so many people that I knew from Federation were there. So many coaches that I knew from very young age. And, um, yeah, you belong there. Yeah, yeah, I felt it, but I also belong to Finland too, so... <laughs> <laughs> Great. So maybe as a last thing, what uh, can we know about you two off the ice? Are you studying? What do you enjoy doing when you're not skating? <laughs> uh, <laughs> we gave our life to skating now. Uh, <laughs> well, it's pretty much the truth. Yeah, <laughs> actually, yeah, okay. like, it's, it's very intense, the, mm -hmm. the schedule. Yeah. Cause the thing here in Finland, we don't start early in the morning. Like, I mean, yeah. we start around 9 a.m., 9.30 yeah. yeah. a.m. is the first session. I know yeah. that there are many schools in the world where they start 6 a.m. and they do like a lot. Finish at 12. Yeah. Finish at 12, finish at 1 p.m., 2 p.m. But we finish usually around like 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then we have those extra like physio, pilates kind of training. So sometimes yeah. we finish like... 6 7 p.m. so yeah. there is really no time That's so it's yeah, yeah it's that, a job for it, sure it's yeah. a job yeah. yeah but of course we do have <laughs> life also outside of the skating yeah. i mean trying to make some life <laughs> trying to make some life but i mean i do coach a little bit mm -hmm. like little, like the smaller yes. ice dancers yes. every yeah. once in a while um but yeah it's pretty much at the ice rink we are so dedicated yeah. now yeah, <laughs> yeah. Pretty much that's it. That's it. Yeah. I have two cats. <laughs> <laughs> that's a hobby. I, I have two cats. Oh, she's a cat uh, person. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's it. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. We wish you a wonderful season. And first of all, good luck here and here for the rest of the season. And thank thank you. you so much. Thank you.